Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping back on my channel, Dino here. Uh, today's going to be a little bit different. I've had a few uh, viewers actually comment to me and ask me to do an unboxing. So I said I'd go ahead and do one. I've never done one before. Uh, in my opinion, I hate watching people open stuff, so I hope that this isn't boring. However, though, I do think that this does relate to the channel as it is uh, some fragrances I ordered. So I was going to go ahead and just show you what I got, uh, see what your opinions are, and kind of tell you what I would like to do with the channel here as well. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and open the box. It's like Christmas came early. All right. Ooh, a lot of goodies in here. Christmas definitely came early for me. So anyway, uh, I wanted to go ahead and tell you that when I ordered these, I do have an idea. I would like to go ahead and get together like a 90s uh, segment where I kind of go through and look at uh, some fragrances from the 90s. So a lot of it is from that era. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have. So go ahead and take a look here. Scent number one I got is Lucky You. I used to love this one. I would wear it a lot back when I was in high school. Kind of borderline into college. I'll go ahead and take a look at that one and see. Uh, is it still relevant? Is it still good? Second one I got here was Armani Code Colonia. You may have seen some of my prior videos on the Code line. I like it quite a bit. But I ordered that one because uh, I've seen that it came off of uh, Armani's website. So I don't know if they're do, uh, discontinuing it or if they're taking it down to rebottle it. I don't know. But I wanted to grab a bottle just in case uh, to make sure I could have one for myself. One of the Armani fragrances that I used to love was Armani Mania back in the early 2000s. But I think it discontinued like 2012 or 13, one of those years. And uh, you can't get it anymore. And I've seen them going online for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So that's why I wanted to get this one, just in case, uh, you know, if it were to retire or discontinue, I wanted to have a bottle for my collection as well. <laughs> Another good one from the 90s I got was Tommy. Uh, for Tommy Hilfiger. I used to really enjoy this one as well. Uh, I think back in high school. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and see, is that one still relevant? Uh, is it good? I remember wearing it a lot in the summer. I thought it was a, a pretty good fragrance back then. I keep moving along here. And this one I definitely had to have. Curve. <laughs> this was another good one. Uh, I used to wear all the time back in the 90s as well. Uh, yeah, one thing I was going to bring up and I want to do some research into is I remember back in the 90s, I used to go to Kaufman's a lot, which is now Macy's, and they had quite a lot of Liz Claiborne. They had like a whole section, uh, you know, at the fragrance counter, but now you don't see them anymore. Uh, they kind of trickle down to drugstores. So you find them mostly, you know, in, in drugstores or, you know, kind of bargain bins at some of these other retailers, but they used to really rain back in the 90s. They were, they dominated, but so it's kind of trickled out. So I kind of really wondered what happened. Uh, so I'll go ahead and look at that one. Uh, Curve is kind of personal to me too because uh, I go to see my family in uh, Colombia sometimes and I brought a bottle with me when I traveled and my sister's uh, husband uh, enjoys it. So when I go down there, he always asks me to bring a bottle of Curve. He says it gets him a lot of compliments. So um, I guess they can't, he can't find it there. So I, I bring it just as like a, a nice gift. Another one I got here was CK1. I used to really enjoy this one too. Um, I would I remember wearing it a few times back in, in the 90s as well. That was very, very popular. Everywhere you go, you'd smell that on someone or see it somewhere. And that was a, a really great one too. So I can't wait to dig into that one and see if that one's still relevant as well. And the last one I got here was Versace Mana Fresh. Uh, I, I remember I used to have this one too, and uh, I don't know what I did with it. I think I had it back, it was maybe like 10 years ago or so. I probably used it, <laughs> but I wanted to go ahead and, and take a, a better look at that one as well. Uh, I really enjoy the Versace line, so I'll go ahead and uh, take a look there, and I have a few that I'll compare eventually for Versace. So anyways, that's the haul that I got. Um, and I had a, one of my other viewers ask me, you know, why did I pick these? Well. I'm going to be honest, you know, I do look for deals. I did get these all discounted, but, um, you know, with my channel, I, I'm not endorsed by anyone. I don't, none of these companies pay me to do any of this. So it is my own money. So I do like to you know, see what's out there. I do like to get mine, you know, discounted. I like to get my deals on them. So, but my thought was doing the nineties channel for sure. 
or the 90s segment of uh, of comparing these and see if they're still relevant. And you know, one thing I wanted to say, and I had one of my viewers say this, is he didn't want to spend you know $100 on a fragrance. I agree. You know, times are tight, so just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's always good. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these. As I said, these are all pretty cheap. I didn't spend very much money on them, but I, I want to see are they still relevant uh, and kind of bring the facts to you and and just have a discussion about them. So. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my first unboxing. Hopefully it wasn't terribly boring. And uh, it'll kind of has some things coming up that we're going to go over later in the channel. But as always, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and tell me what do you think. Uh, did you like the ones that I got? Did you have any opinions? Um, did you wear any of these back, you know, in the 90s? Or Yeah, go ahead and tell me. Or if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, let me know your thoughts. But thank you again for tuning in to Sense with Dino, and I'll see you here soon. Thank you.